Good morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome to all of you in another special disruptive education live session on Global Education and Training Institute, or GETI. And once again, I am back with a special guest for you all. Today, we have uh, Ms. Sandhya Roy, ma'am. A little bit more about her. Presently, she's working in Janki Devi Public School, Jaipur, a branch of Mumbai. Uh, she is taking care of uh, the Department of Geography, the head of Department of Geography. With 27 years of experience in teaching, she has taught in brands like DPS, DAV, and has visited many places along with her job and her family as her husband had a transferable job. So she visited places, explored, learned, and uh, we used to visit industries, nature or heritage sites and much more. She likes to be with students. Teaching is her passion. And today uh, she's going to talk about teaching methodologies and geography. Like how at this time of crisis we can make things better. What strategies we can use to make uh, the teaching strategies uh, you know, more uh, better for students. How we can connect with them in a better way. So, without taking much time, I will hand over the screen to Sandhya Ma'am. Oh, we are very happy to have you today. Over to you. Thank you, Prina. Uh, uh, before starting, I would like to thank Getty, the uh, Global Education Disruptive Education Movement, as an esteemed live session speaker. I will, I'm very grateful to Ms. Gandhi and the, uh, all of the uh, disruptive education platform. Uh, as uh, last, uh, I think uh, since 2015, I've connected to the global education and I keep on uh, looking for the movements you are having. So thank you very much for giving me the chance to be there on this platform. And uh, I'm having uh, my PPT on my topic where I will be speaking about the uh, intelligence, that how many types of intelligences are there and then how they are related to the education, how they are affecting the education, how a child is able to learn and get the benefit because of these intelligences. Then how it is related to the subject geography. Though it is it applies everywhere, but then uh, we, I will also be speaking that how it is going to relate to the subject geography. So I will just open my PPT. Just it is getting open and then we will be starting. Just a minute, it is starting. So this is about the teaching methodologies and geography. That how the teaching teaching methodology uh, methodologies are applied and how we uh, learn it in different manner. So first, uh, the thing is that uh, uh, 
we need to understand what are the characteristics of intelligence. Intelligence is an innate nature, uh, natural endowment of the child, right from the beginning, from the day one when the child is being born. Since then, rather I should say when the child is there in the mother's womb, this is the time the child uh, starts learning. And uh, we have a, a very good relation with our epic. We can uh, talk about Mahabharata, that how, how the Abhimanyu, he learned uh, the different fates, how to be there in the world. So this is uh, this is one of the evidence. In this way, we are having the, the even our epics also say the same thing. Uh, the second point says it helps the child in maximum learning in minimum period of time. So the more the child is uh, getting the environment to learn, the more it will be easy for the child to learn uh, and the more it will be getting the opportunities. Uh, right from the beginning, we need to understand that how, what is the type of an environment we need to give to a child so that the learning keeps on taking place. The third is the child is able to foresee the future and plan accordingly. So the Right from the beginning, what is the environment the child is getting? In the similar way, the child will be getting the opportunities also to learn and it will be able to take it very soon. So initial stage, right from the beginning, that means when the child is born, up till the uh, time when the child is of uh, maybe five years, that is the crucial time that we need to understand the child and give the maximum opportunities to a child to learn. And that is why it is said that the presence of parents, both the parents is very important in this crucial period. The child is able to take advantage of his previous experience. The more uh, the child is getting, that means the first five years of a child, the more it is getting the uh, advantage of learning that is applied in the future years also. So that is very important to understand that how a child is learning. Uh, and the last point is here is that the child faces the future with compliance. That means it is everything is related, how it, it is able to understand the different aspects of life. So with the, with the characteristics of intelligence, we are coming to the point, the different types of intelligence. Now here it is very important to understand that how the different types of intelligences are there. All the students are not able to do the particular type of a work in a similar phase. That means uh, maybe a child may be having the uh, spa uh, spatial view, uh, visualization of the world. That means a child is able to see and learn. Some of the students, they are able to, they are naturalistic. You know? They understand, they are understanding living things and reading the nature is very good. They can understand with the help of the nature everything. So right from the beginning, in the in crucial stage also, we say that make a child to plant seeds Maybe uh, uh, we are having everything in our house. Maybe a uh, few of the galkedane, maybe uh, some of the pulses, and let the child give and give the soil and let the child grow it. See the patience the child will be learning that how uh, in a small pot the child has to pour the water and after how many days the plant will be coming out. See the happiness of a child that the child has grown that plant. Maybe that uh, one or two plants are not going to grow the pulses, but yes, the child will be learning which is very important. So this is how we need to understand the child. Then uh, the uh, next point is musical. Some of the stu uh, students, they are more musical. They learn more when they are uh, listening the music or they are rhythmic or uh, some of the, uh, with the help of some of the couplets or because of the dohas, they are able to learn very well. So we have to sometimes, we have to understand the child and then we have to work. Uh, this is uh, the way we can help the child to learn. Some of the children, they are logical and mathematical. Every time they have to they calculate everything and then they are able to understand. And they are very good uh, in the knowledge they build for themselves. That some of the students, they are existential, tackling the questions of why they live and why they die. They are they keep on questioning themselves, they keep on questioning to everyone, what is this, why is it so, Why? what will happen if it is not there. So these are the existential type of intelligence that a child should uh, is having and we need to, at times we need to understand and then we have to uh, work accordingly so that we can help the child to learn. Next is interpersonal. How the uh, students, they are more interpersonal, they are able to understand the other person and then beyond, be, uh, be, on the basis of that, they are uh, 
able to understand many of the things in the environment. So these are some of the things we need to understand that how the different types of intelligences are there, which are helping the child. Some of them, they are bodily kinesthetic. Some, uh, in the class, uh, maybe some of the teachers, they might have observed that some of the students, when they are being asked to answer some of the question in the class, they keep on having a movement of their body also. So that is kinesthetic. That when they explain, they are, their body movement is also there. So they, with the help of the body movement, they are explaining uh, themselves. You know, the, uh, so this is named as a kinesthetic movement. Uh, then comes the linguistic. Uh, linguistic uh, word. So, the finding the right word to express what mean that is uh, based on the language that how the child is, is uh, using the language to express them. So some of the students, they are having a very good language. They express themselves beautifully. So, they, these are some of the things we need to understand. Then comes the intrapersonal. Some of the students, they are uh, self-centered. They know everything but they keep themselves when they have been asked they will say this, this is like the intrapersonal the understanding they have uh, but they themselves they can understand the things very well so we need sometimes the students these types of students are very much required in the class where, where these students they understand the things very much themselves and when they have been asked they explain this very beautifully some of the students they like to work in a group so that is uh, the each student they are having a different type of a nature and on the basis of that they keep on developing now the thing is that uh, we need to understand that one particular type of intelligence does not work for every child this is the one thing another thing is that uh, if a child is having one particular type of intelligence it will not work alone it is an amalgamation of different types of intelligence in one so sometimes this is working sometimes the kinesthetic is working sometimes the verbal linguistic is working uh, sometimes the visual is working very well so we need at times we need to understand and geography is the subject where the uh, pictures are very much required so we need to understand that how we can make the child learn our motto is to make the make the best for the students so to uh, for that we need to be analytical uh, we have we need to understand the analytical and uh, intelligence which is academic problem solving and computation how uh, we can apply we can use the technology or we can use any of the other methods to uh, do it so creative uh, creativity is very much required creative intelligence is there which is which is imaginative and innovative problem solving so when the creativity is there this this, is, this applies with the students and when we are uh, assigning them the work now when we assign the work we have to see that how much imaginative they are how much innovative they are how much they are able to solve the problem and we every time when we assign the problem we give them the work and we say that uh, anything if you are stuck anywhere come back to me i am there to help you so these are the things we need to uh, give to the students uh, then the practical intelligence street is smart some of the students this is uh, related to the kinetic uh, intelligence that how the students they are able to present themselves now i'll give i will give you one example that i was there in the class and i uh, a child he was i knew that he was having a uh, this kind of static intelligence, he is very good and he can express himself very well. So what I did was, I just said that, uh, okay, stand up, and now you are the water. Now you have to say, you think to yourself that you are the water, and what all the things are going on with the water, you have to express it in the class. So beautifully explain how he has explained. He was linguistic also. See, what he did was, he became the water, and the way he expressed himself that, how he has been tortured. He said that I'm being tortured. So how? People, they are wasting me. So the, the, there are different ways that how the students can express themselves. When it comes to teaching styles and the strategies prepared trainees to use a range of different teaching styles and strategies. So this is what we have to apply in the class. Uh, so exposition and modeling can be there. Effective questioning can be there, group discussions can be there, 
so it depends on depends on the topic that what is the type of the topic we are having and according to it we can explain and, uh, or we can assign the work so uh, it may be a class discussion it can it may be a group discussion it may be activity or some creative work or role play or drama so these are all the things which can be applied it is not only the geography subject it can be applied in any of the other subjects also and it does very well so these are all the things we have to keep in mind then comes this teaching strategy is to promote a global dimension in geography so what are the teaching strategies we can have so again we come to the same point that how we can apply all these things there may be different things we can go to the uh, deductive method we can go with the labor uh, laboratory method that how we can show the things and then do the work so uh, we can bring we are, we are teaching the rocks we can bring a piece of the rock in the class with pieces of rocks and then tell them that how it can be done uh, we can also go with the research work we can motivate the child and do the research work and, uh, with a piece of a rock we can do a too much of a research work a number of things are there to be studied with any we take any of the topic and there are number of things we can uh, give them then comes the inquiry that how we can have the inquiry to questioning assessing the achievement you know, how, uh, once we have assigned the work we have to see that how we will be uh, taking the things and then we are uh, doing the inquiry method then uh, students they keep on finding out the uh, methods they collect the data and then they discuss it with the help of the discussion they come out with some of the things that yes we have done this but these are the drawbacks now they will they will be asked again to go back go and do it again now now again once they have done it again then again they use their data they collect the data they, then again they do the work under these uh, points and then they again they sort out and then say they, they, yes we have done done this this is this work and then again uh, some of the things are missing so again they ask them to jot it down once they have jotted down that these were the topics we were having and next they have been asked again to do it so this is the research work this is how they are being trained it is very important to train the students in the day so that they can be uh, working the more the research work they are having the more the learning keeps on going so research work is very important we can give the small small topics to the students and then we can ask them to have the research work so it, it, this helps the students and they have a number of questions and these bunch of questions are going to express themselves in the class and it will be good for the students those who are sitting quiet in the class that they will be able to express themselves then uh, so how we can apply all these things when we say the journalistic inquiry process this is designing the inquiry how we design the inquiry the topic must be large enough to permit a good investigation but clear enough to have an achievable objective so this this should be the design in the mind of a teacher that how we can select a topic for the uh, purpose then comes the research process that how we are going to give them the research process so uh, so the research process is both primary and secondary method how they are going to do it on the primary stage primary stage they can jot down the points that these are the points they have to work on it No, so the teacher can help them, and uh, after that they can be asked to do their work individually. The groups, when they are being uh, divided, they suppose a group is of five students, and we can assign each of the students one of the work, and this is the how we can uh, do the research work. Then comes the presentation. So clear and creative presentation. Uh, should be there so how what are the methods they should apply what are the information they have collected then how it is to be divided in the group suppose they are having a, a presentation on the plants then what are the variety of plants what is the one typical plant they have selected to which forest it belongs to how it grows over there what is the life span of the plant how it, you know, what is the type of the climate it wants so each one of the student may take one of the topic and then have to Uh, presentation after that it comes the discussion that once this uh, group of five students they have given the presentation then now the whole of the class is being involved that means maybe the class of a 30 or 35 is involved in the discussion they may be having their own sets of question that how what is the type of presentation they had and what are, what are the things they could discover in it 
once they have discovered all the things that they can go with the self reflection right self reflection means that how the students or the group of five students they were not able to do that where the teacher will come up and help them that this was a point they were not able to work and this should be done how what are the things they are lagging behind what were the drawbacks and how the next time they will be going to it so these are all the things that how we can have this is the geographic inquiry process that we can go with so next comes how we can apply the techniques the human the physical we are having the physical environment we have to see the human is the best resource for the environment the human beings have been considered as the best resource everything which is there in our environment we are making it as a resource so human beings become the biggest resource that how we can apply the uh, techniques different types of techniques computerization is there for everything the research work has become very easy now everything you get on the click of your finger so these are all the things we need to understand and then relate it with the physical environment which is very important how we can relate all the things to the physical in environment so what we say what is geography geography is everything each and everything which is there in in our environment what are the clothes we are wearing what is the type of climate we are having what is the weather today what are the type of plants we are having how Uh, the remote sensing should be there. What is the remote sensing? What is weather? What is the rising time of the sun? Or uh, what is the setting time of the sun? The dusk and the dawn. So everything is geography. So everything which is there in our environment that is geography. So how we can relate everything that is very important. When comes, we need to understand the students and give them the type of the work. Make them understand the differentiation in each type of a climate. Like how. the climate is there the different types of climates are there the different types of biomes are there in the environment on the earth and how we cannot interchange them why it is difficult to interchange we cannot bring the polar bear and make it live on the desert region why because the temperature is not suitable and the polar bear polar bear will not be able to survive over there and in the similar way we cannot take the camel to the Polar region and make it alive over there. Yes, the, the things is, we need to give them some comparative study to the students that how they will be understanding the environment. So in the similar way, the plant life, the vegetation, the flora and fauna we find in the in the Amazon forest or any of the place, maximum in the temperate regions or the equatorial regions where we find the most of the green leaves. some of the places we are having very much green and some of the places they are very dry how the uh, flora and fauna survive over there so we need to make them understand the differentiation and how the different things are there and how they will they will be able to understand all these things now technology has become so advanced that we can bring all the things in the classroom and then we can make them understand physically going to the environment each and every time i say i understand that yes it is not possible but yes we can bring the, the number of things with the help of the uh, smart boards in the classes that how we can make them understand that they are the nature is so beautiful we have to understand this and how the nature is giving us all the time we need to give to the nature we need to understand that today the fruits what we are consuming that were the plants they were not planted by us so this this is the fruits we enjoy every time we are we have not planted this maybe our forefathers have planted those trees and today they are able to get the fruit so the life span of a tree is very much the life span of a human being is not at that so we need to understand how we can give 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 to make our nature how we can give all the time make the students learn that how this uh, each and every plant is having some value maybe they are fruit giving plants maybe they they are, they are helpful in the environment maybe they are helping us to build our immune system many of the spices are there they help us to build our immune system so all these things we can bring the, all these things in the class and with the help of the activity we can do this i will give you an example that how avans are uh, ask the students to uh, select few of the spices and make a project on it so what i gave them was the topic was that the medicinal value of each of the spices so what the students said that they do not know any of the spices which is having the medicinal value 
Why? You are 32 students in the class, and I can give you 32 names of the spices which are helpful and they are building our immune system. And all the students, they were shocked. 32 spices. We do not know even one. Then I said, Yes, the Indian kitchen is having all the spices which are helping us to build the immune system, which is very much required today. So, and then I gave the name of one spice to each of the students and I gave them three days to work over it and after three days I was having the class where I took the presentation from each of the students they were given just two minutes to come and speak and this did the work beautifully expressed themselves so this is these are some of the things we can understand that how we can teach the students. Many of the things are there in our environment, but still we do not know. With the help of these all the pictures, with the help of the, uh, you can say the smart board, we can bring all these things in the class and explain them. When, when we see the environment, how the hills are there, as I gave you the example of the uh, animals, that how the animals are there, the flora and fauna, we cannot interchange them of the places we cannot make all the places green in the similar way we are having the mountains which are some of the mountains they are the barren mountains some of them they are very green some of them they become seasonal green seasonal green means at the time when the rainy season is there they become very green and after some time they dry most of the uh, uh, places in south india we are having these types of mountains the western parts we are having there the western side of the western heart uh, is almost green all the time, but when we talk about the eastern side of the western heart, it is not like that. The neighbors, they are not like that. It depends on the direction, that how the direction of the hill is there. So uh, the photo period is having a very important part. Then the altitude of the mountain, that also matters. If the altitude of the mountain is very high, then the temperature will be low and some of the mountains at some of the places they will find that they are snow covered whereas some of the mountains they can be found barren. Then bringing the rock pieces in the class and explaining them the different types of rocks this is an amazing idea. Why I will tell you I will give you an example. Once what happened that I was uh, having a chapter in the class and that was related to the rocks. What I did was I selected some of the pieces. I was having a few of them. I collected it nearby the sand pit was there. And if I uh, went over there to pick up some of the tables from there. And I brought them in the class. When I showed these tables to the students, they were, oh, these are the simple tables. What is the difference? Then I explained each of the four. You will not believe I was having one of the piece of the rock which was having a very small stone, though it is not having any economic value, but the thing was that it was having an angle in it. What happened? Uh, the uh, piece of the stone which I had picked up from the sand pit, it was having something shining on it, and when I bought it in the class and I had shown the, to the students with the help of a uh, lens, they were able to understand something is shining over there. So go out. And then I went to discover it, what it is that shining in such a small thing and it was a piece of an emerald which was shining. I went to the research work and everything I went, uh, sometimes we have to become crazy for it, yes. So when the teachers, they become crazy, then yes, they are able to give something to the students also. So these are the different things we can have, we can have different pieces of rocks, we can make them understand that how the rocks are there in our environment why the rock it is having this shape, why it is having this color, why, what is the texture. And so different things are there and the colors of the rocks you will find that they are of different colors. Then why they are having these colors, what is the type of the rock they are. So all these things can be discussed in the class. So, okay, so there is another matter now. Uh, I have seen that the students, they have a lot of problem in learning the names. What is the method we can apply to help the students to learn the names? So when we have to see that the students are having the problem, what we can do is we have to just see it that what are the things we can do with these. We can jumble the words or we can do something so that the students are able to learn the 
words or the uh, names of the places. So I have given you one example over here. This is homes. So uh, these five lakes, when we say homes, the students they will be able to understand that homes. H stands for the Huron Lake. It is here over here. If you will see, this is the Huron Lake over here, and then O. O stands for the Ontario Lake. Ontario over here. Then M. M is Lake Michigan, and then stands the E. E is Lake Erie, and the Lake Superior is for F. So this is how I gave them the word homes, and they were able to understand the word. They were able to recall this word, and they were able to learn all the five. Uh, Five uh, names of the lakes. So this, this, there are different methods which we can apply. Maximum time it is that the students they face the problem in learning the names. Geography is the subject where we have to learn a list of names, and this becomes how the, we need to understand that how we have to make the things easy for them. And this is how the students they enjoy also doing their work. So uh, in the geography class, we have to say that. Uh, we need to uh, use maps. Uh, we can have the real life examples. We can uh, make them visit the places. Uh, if not possible, then uh, what we can do is we can make the use of videos in the class and make the students learn that how they are able to do all these things. How they how they will be understanding the environment. Physically moving is not possible all the time. Then videos are the most effective way how we can make the students learn. So when we talk about geography, we are having a number of streams in geography. With uh, uh, the field of geography is has become very vast. So when we talk about geography, geography is learning about meteorology that is related to the climate. It is related to the oceanography. Uh, it is related to the soil, which is named as a pedology. Then we are having uh, the botany, we are having uh, geobotany as a subject, then we are having zoology, zoo geography is there, and ecology, the human ecology is there. In this way, we can say that we are having a social geography is there, which is uh, studying about the sociology, then historical geography is studying about the history of the human beings, and we are having political geography, political science. Uh, so, in this way, geography is having a vast arena. Uh, Today, people are not able to understand that what is the scope in geography. The geography is having a vast arena, and I will say that the, the number of uh, streams that the geography is having the other subjects, I do not think that they are having. So, the scope of geography has also increased as well. With this, I would like to say thank you to Getty and uh, thank you everyone for listening me, for bearing me. We have a question here. Uh, if you can uh, see, yes, uh, one of our viewers would like to know about topography. Okay, so uh, what is the question? Would like to know about the topography. You can see on the screen it's visible. I have highlighted. <laughs> Uh, what is topography? Okay, topography is all the ups and downs on the uh, sheet of, uh, when we say uh, on the surface of the earth, we are having mountains, plains, plateaus, valleys. They, this is topography on the sheet. We are having the topography sheets where it has been explained with the help of some of the lines. So these lines, they are being marked with some of the numbers, which help us to understand the depth or the height of any of the place. So this is topography. Okay, and uh, one more question is there: that why is it uh, said that the country is more suitable? Happy than the other. Yes. So it depends. It depends on the environment. It depends on the climate. Yes, we are the global citizens, but uh, it depends uh, uh, that uh, how we are living at a place, what are the things which are more uh, good for us. Some of the places we feel, uh, generally, this is the human nature that what we see here, we look for the uh, facilities, that more the facilities are there, the more we feel that it is more 
comfortable. So that is why we say that this is more habitable. If you, if you go and if we can go and visit to the Sahara for a day, but we, it is difficult to live over there. And in the similar way, any of the desert place, it is too hot over there. So uh, people find it difficult to live. Uh, in the similar way, when the uh, if you if you want to go and see, you might have heard about the Ladakh. It is a very good place. Uh, the snow-covered mountains can be seen over there. But what the thing is that the uh, climate is harsh over there. It is too cold over there. So we need to understand that uh, when we say the climate is suitable, so when we talk about the climate. But when we say that it is uh, some habitable, uh, means that uh, we are able to live over there. Some of the places we are, we say that because the climate is very harsh and we are not able to uh, survive over there. That is that is why we say that it, it is difficult to live or it is inhabitable. Right. Whereas when we talk about the flora and fauna, some of the flora and fauna are there. They are used to it and they find that these places are suitable for them. You might have heard about the birds that how the Siberian cranes they move from that place because the weather becomes too cold over there. So they start moving to the places where it is warm. So this is why it is being said that some of the places they are habitable. Right. So uh, since ma'am, uh, you also discussed about the methodology, seating methodologies. I would like to like understand if we can come up with like how we can have a constructive interaction between a teacher and a student and a student and a student you know at this time when uh, we are using technology yeah. so when we are using how the technology we it is uh, yes uh, as i gave i said that I, uh, I was discussing about the research work that how the research work is there you know, so when the research work is there when we are assigning the research work to the students so the interaction is increased over there and uh, most of the time the research work is being given in the group so that uh, when the students they are working in a group they are able to discuss uh, so this is that uh, student and student uh, uh, you can say the uh, activity that how they discuss in, in between themselves and then they, how they present the same thing in the class so when they are having the presentation in the class at the same time they have the interaction with the students also so student student interaction is also there and the student and teacher interaction is also there. So research work and uh, research work should always be followed by the presentation, which is very important. So that helps the students learn. Yes. Right. So it's all about the planning. We need to be. Yeah. Yes. Basically, Sorry. planning is very important. Right. Wow. Thank you so much, ma'am. I think it was very nice and uh, people have really appreciated the way you have explained. I I'll just highlight a few more uh, comments you can see the way people have really appreciated. Any other question they are having? Uh, I cannot see because I think you have covered almost everything and they have like, appreciated the way in the comment section you can see. If everything is explained very nicely, step by step. And yes, we can learn so much from our surroundings. Yeah, I, I, get, example. I get encouraged by the view of what, what the, the other people they are giving. Yes, ma'am. So it was really nice to have you. Thanks a lot for uh, joining Thank us. Thank Thank and you. really looking forward for some more learning from you. Definitely. If I get the chance okay. and I really want to thank the team for doing, giving me the platform so that uh, so I was able to express myself and uh, my passion is teaching and keeping uh, upgrading the students. So that is very important because this is the, I think it is the demand of the time also. Absolutely. This is what we need to do continuously. Yes. Right. Pleasure is all ours, ma'am. Thanks a lot on behalf of Getty. We are very thankful to Thank you. you. And you. thanks to Thank all you. the viewers for joining us. By the time we'll be back again with some great discussions. Till then, take care. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.